So we wouldn't cost share on the harvest, but we would cost share on an after harvest thinning to TSI because They got some really cool genetics out here in this area. Mm -hmm. Very cool. First one for the cabin. Oh, it's seven up. Our pile. Well, today is Thursday, January the 25th, and it is a muddy, rainy day here in Missouri. We're in central Missouri, here in Henry County. AJ and I are headed out to our property, 38 Special. We are meeting with the Missouri Department of Conservation today. I'm gonna get some advice from them on logging the place or doing some timber stand improvement through the government programs. We'll be meeting with a gentleman by the name of Austin Carter. We couldn't choose the weather when we scheduled this a month ago, but it's the off season and we're ready to get going. We got the side by side on the back, so we can keep out of the weather a little bit. The biggest thing I think is once you guys get done, you're wanting to picking it up for wildlife to an extent, something like that. Um, we would do, so we wouldn't cost share on the harvest because you guys are making profit off of that, but we would cost share on an after harvest thinning to TSI because he's, not, he's they, only going to take select what he Yeah, he's just going to select what he yeah. wants. And then obviously we're not going to ask you to do a TSI timber stand improvement before you harvest because you don't want to damage the trees that some guy is willing to harvest and pay you for. There's a few other stipulations when it comes to the timber stand harvest. So, depend, well, the harvest. So, depending on when you guys actually get that done and then you want to do the timber stand improvement, there's back guidelines through feds and we don't allow any cutting after March 15th or until I want to say they moved it to November 1st this last year. So that whole area right there is a no-go, but who really wants to run a chainsaw in the middle of summer? It's hot and sweaty and not fun. I'd rather have a 20 degree day. Than do it. All right, well, we'll jump on the side by side and All drive right. around. And it's got a nice road system throughout the whole place. So okay. you just tell me if you want to get out and walk around or do whatever. All right. Having the road system in place is already nice, LA. Yep. They're just everywhere. So 
so I know that Oh yeah. We were within 20 yards of him. I don't know. I don't see a carpet. Is this from last year? Or it might be There's old. no way this was yeah, here this, this whole, whole time. Well, yeah, this has got to be old. Found our first shed. <laughs> it's actually a deadhead, but huh. they got some really cool genetics out here in this area. Mm -hmm. Very cool. First one for the cabin. We just need to get us a tag for it. I don't see nothing else. Good eye. We uh, cleared all of that, made that brush pile this summer. This was laying right there. We never even saw it. <laughs> Fifteen yards from it the whole time. Cool. Right now, it sounds like a very lucrative program that would be worth taking advantage of. And it's usually like that the first year when they roll something out, from what I've been told. But after that, it kind of slows down and gets a little less lucrative. But more restrictions. Yeah. yeah, if you could give me more information on that, that'd be awesome. That would be the Clinton USDA office. Uh, someone in there they got someone new so they're letting us help them out a little bit more but i just try to tell people about it when i can yeah especially with that that just coming out that was last week and it's it was hot off the presses yesterday so it's fairly new. okay yeah i'll have to look into that thing that would be awesome to do something like that in here i feel like he did just the start and, could have and made this wouldn't better. necessarily be creating a wetland it would be more of a I'd say, I think they would classify it as a wetland restoration. If anything, if you were trying to put a wetland down in here, they would call it that instead. But still, same program, very lucrative, it sounds like so far. Very cool. Okay, thank you. You guys do that. He'd, he'd paint the tree. You guys would go through and do your PSI, and I just have to come out and confirm that the trees that he painted are still there, and you guys didn't come down. Because if you did, then it's probably. It's really just easier to avoid it. I don't necessarily yeah. want to be in no. I hate ticks, I hate yeah. spiders and snakes and all that good jazz. Poison ivy. Poison ivy's a good one. <laughs> so yeah. It's easier to just avoid it and cut when it's cold, it is. then you're not sweating. Back to sweating. <laughs> you still sweat a little bit after a while, even if it is 20 degrees, but it's not nearly as bad as if you were cutting in I love running a saw. I and, do too. And I, I wouldn't even mind running in some summer, but in the timber? No, no. thanks. Cool. All right. Just keep me updated and we'll do it. We can move forward. And yep. I'll uh, I'll meet with the slugger on Saturday and then I'll probably reach out to the one, the forester that you gave me and okay. talk to him a little bit and maybe go down that list. And then after I've met with all of them, I'll reach back out to you and tell you right. what I'm going to do. All right. Sounds like Thank, you, so much. Thank you guys. Yep. Thank you. You guys have a good one. Nice meeting you. Thank you, Austin. Yep. No problem. You guys have
When we bought this place, all these big ceramic pieces were here. We have no idea what they are, but they do have a patent number and says Kansas City, Missouri on them. If anybody knows what these are, let us know in the comments below. I don't know what to do with them. We've got so many of them and they're heavy duty and clearly they interlock in some sort of way. Yeah, they're cool, they're interesting. I'm not sure if they're like for a roof ridge cap or something. I don't know, but man, they're everywhere. Yeah, these things are just randomly all over the place. We wanna clean it up and make this place a giant food plot. random chunks of stuff like this just littered about a bathtub Dick. holds water <laughs> trash everywhere we're gonna make this place look nice thicken up all this forest so that these deer want to bed in here even with the road right here What is that, a fridge? Yeah, it's a fire, fridge, multiple fridges it looks like, hoses, like you might not be able to do anything about that, but we can for certain clean up the rest of this. You can see where... Uh, if we got a long enough rope. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody used a dozer and pushed this off. See how it's all roughed up and there's a path that comes down here? Yeah. Yeah. And that's a nice cherry tree right there that's snapped off. You can cut that one up for firewood. Mm -hmm. See some more cinder blocks on over there. There's some kind of weird wire basket over there. See it? Yeah. There's an old spring bed. Some metal down there. There's a lot of stuff right in there that they've pushed. It's probably buried under that dirt, too. If you walk back. Yeah, I can, I can see trash over here on the surface. Cinder blocks, all kinds of stuff here. Look at all this. Should, yeah, we should have grabbed some of those bags. Look at how old those cans are. Those are the old school yeah, beer cans. This. It's just huge junk area. More cinder blocks over there. Some, some, cool, some cool glass, yeah. That can is super old. That yeah. can's from the 70s right there. Uh huh. And there's a bunch of them. What's it say? This one's got a label. Oh, it's 7-Up. Very cool. Not cool that they lettered, but cool that it's a piece of history. Gas tank. Old jack. <laughs> Old battery. Cinder blocks for days. More than you could ever need. Every variety. Show you some of the stuff we've already picked up. Grab one of these. Wall. These are all ones we've taken out of the timber, put in here by the road. That's all our trash we've picked up. Our pile. <laughs> A lot of stuff. Just randomly in the woods. You know, 40 yards down in there. Makes no sense. We'll come back and get them later. Now that they're easy to get to.